Hey tribe, welcome back to the weekend reading with Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the Pure, the Black, and the Magic. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and you decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. Um, that was the goddess of the moon that flipped over and it's giving Pisces energy. Okay. Pisces or cancer. Um, so you could be, uh, have that in your chart or be dealing with someone who does, but, uh, collective. So the song that I got for you guys for this weekend was sober by YG and it's giving a lot of like suppressed energy, um, mental, okay. Thoughts, emotions, trauma, um, so you could be dealing with this and, you know, really trying to like maneuver through it this weekend, or there's someone in your environment, someone in your energy, um, who is dealing with this or maybe struggling with some sort of, um, addictions or struggling to cope with whatever's going on in their life right now. Um, and for some of you guys, this is just, you know, this, this is temporary or this is something new to you. For others of you, this is like someone has a long history, okay, of struggle with some sort of like substance or addictions or something like that, or just not being able to like uh, handle well, like what's going on in their life. Um, but yeah, it's giving that energy. So we're going to hop into it and see if that comes out in the cards. Um, but I feel like there's someone that's very important to you or significant that I don't know. The song talks about, um, the song talks about how there's a particular person that doesn't like him or she only likes him when he's sober, but you know, it, that's just something he doesn't like himself when he's sober. So somebody's trying to cover up something by maybe excessively, um, indulging. It doesn't necessarily have to be like drugs or, you know, alcohol, etc. Um, but somebody might be like overdoing something, um, like maybe overeating or overspending. It could be like a gambling prom problem or something like that. Issues with money. Somebody's dealing with that. Um, so I don't know if you're aware of it. You may become aware of it, you know, this weekend or, um, somebody might be opening up to you about something personal that they're dealing with. It's, for some reason, this person is significant, um, or this could be your energy collective as well. So let's see. Um, we're going to start off with the energy or uh, oracle deck, excuse me, and then the psychic tarot, um, the psychic oracle, and then the tarot. So if you have not already, please like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more it actually puts your energy into these messages and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. So let's see what the, all right, what the energy is looking like. Goddess of the moon pops right back out, y'all. Like when cards pop out before I'm quote unquote ready for them to fly out, like it, the message is just still going to be the same. So um, yeah, heavy cancer, heavy Pisces energy here. Let me see deceit i felt this about to come out now the deceit card um it's like equivalent to the devil in the tarot and again like the devil is you know something that um it's obsessions it's addictions it's a low vibrational behavior it's like fixated energy keeping you trapped keeping you stuck okay and for some of you guys this is like this is a person this is somebody around you okay or somebody um yeah, this person, it's just something this person has going on. And I feel like they're attracted to your light with this goddess of the moon card here, the way this is set up. Um, or somebody is very like um, obsessive, like possessive, like addicted to you and to your energy. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's giving me a little bit of like energy vampire like somebody uh could be very like codependent on you or somebody's very codependent in general on something here and we have walking away okay so i kind of feel like for some of you guys this could be a new individual um that you're meeting like if you're meeting somebody new this weekend i would just you know just take things slowly tread lightly because i feel like there may be some hidden something about this person that you do not know about um, or like there's somebody, there could be somebody trying to like result to drastic measures to keep you around, to keep you from leaving them. Something like that with this walking away car here too. Let 
Let's see what's at the bottom. Action. Okay. Capricorn energy popping up here. We have all tied up. Yeah, magician in the mirror. Something feels like um like somebody's trying to keep you restricted or keep you um hidden or secret or keep something hidden from you or keep you locked in, locked down with this all tied up. Okay, or somebody's like seeking to like I don't know, like control or manipulate you in some sort of way. For some of you guys, that's what's coming up. Because we got the magician with the devil and all tied up here. Or somebody, if somebody might be like, um, okay, somebody might be like plotting on some, for some of you guys, it's like somebody is plotting or watching you, especially if you're like, it's giving me an energy, it's giving me an energy of like, it's giving me a little bit of stalker vibes. I got to say that. But if you're going out this weekend, it's just like needing to know who you're around. Okay. Especially if you're drinking. Because it's watch your drinks or who's making your drinks. Like I feel like somebody is, um, is trying to figure out how to keep you in a certain situation or get you or trap you or trap you or something to keep you from leaving. There's something like that going on here. Okay, so let's see. One more. And then we have the strength card. Yeah, because it's giving me like you are... Um, not in, it's giving me like, it's not, something's not consensual. Like you're not in agreement with this or you're not desiring this. There's boundaries up, there's resistance. And it's like somebody is either trying to, on some, some way, right? Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, trying to manipulate your energy here, your strength, your resistance, your resilience, your power. All right, majors that we have, uh, like I said, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn is here, and Leo is here too. Or it's just somebody that's like, you guys are no longer, uh, it's like when you find something out, or some of you guys are already aware and you're just fed up, it's like you're no longer wanting to sacrifice yourself for this person or put up whatever, because whatever the, the behaviors are of this person, like, I'm even picking up on like some abuse for uh a little bit of like abuse like physical abuse or mental or emotional is something here that's going on um whether it's directly related to you or somebody that you know okay so yeah the action card is at the bottom the garden and the gate like somebody is trying to get away from something here okay and decision envy door to spirit angel of balance temple path all right or somebody could be um it's like somebody could be going through something and you would never know. So whoever this person is or whoever is like um, experiencing this energy, going through this currently, I feel like they hide it well. Something's being hidden very well. I feel like they hide it well, but somebody is struggling. Um, somebody is struggling this weekend. So let's see. Let's see what comes out from the Psychic Oracle. Clarity come from look at this. All right, so suffering in silence here. Suffering in silence, partnerships and alliances, prosperity begins, fulfillment and wishes. Or somebody's like just very much so not happy in a particular dynamic relationship, something here. Like someone's, yeah, I was gonna say somebody's wanting to leave. We have the moving on. Okay, so let's see. Um, I don't know why I'm picking up just like a lot of traps energy. Or somebody trying to trap somebody. Transformation. Clarity confirmation. Letter T could be significant. Balance. What's ahead of the collective this weekend, Holy Spirit? What is it that they need to know? I really just feel like uh, there's an eye on somebody here. So be aware of your surroundings. Um, the surroundings of like the people that are close to you. Family, friends, children, etc. Clarity confirmation. Because I'm picking up on, on a, a couple of different storylines. Um, and it's, it's going to resonate differently for all of you guys. So let's see. All right. So we got victory and success. Material harvest, victory and success popped out here. Um, and then we have suffering and silence. Yeah. So suffering and silence came right back out. But again, somebody's trying to cover something up or mask something by, again, uh, overspending, overindulging in something here. Somebody does a good job at covering this up as well. 
I do feel like too collective, like if there is something, whatever the struggle is, whether it's related to what I've been talking about or if it's a different type of personal issue, um, I see you guys getting out of that. Like I see you guys overcoming it. I don't see it being, uh, I don't see it defeating you. I don't see it conquering you at all. But it's something, yeah, moving on. Some of y'all are just making the decision to like leave or to quit something cold turkey. Like completely let go. Some of you guys, this is like someone close to you. You've been trying to help. Like somebody won't accept help or they won't go get help or they won't go to like some sort of like rehab. And it's something about you like you have been um, sacrificing yourself or something has been heavily affecting you. Maybe trying to hold on hope to the situation, thinking that it will change or something like that, seeing the best in it. Um, but there's a switch of, of directions that's happening here this weekend. We have accelerated motion. Uh, Aquarius energy is here. Uh, conflict and defeat, deception and envy and the truth. Yeah, it's kind of like you're seeing the truth either about yourself, something that, that definitely like drastically needs to change. Um be let go of or someone else. And I feel like that's still connected to you some type of way. Deception, envy, yeah, that was confirmation if you heard that horn in my background. Truth, emotional withdrawal, family, love begins. It's like you may be having a hard time accepting that you need to separate yourself from someone or stop doing something in order for you, in order for your betterment, your highest good. Or you may, um, you may have been struggling with like, taking accountability or responsibility for certain things in your life, certain behaviors, whatever it is. Um, but again, it's like you're, you're tired. It's a tired, somebody here is tired. Um, and for some of you guys, it's the energy of somebody, you know, being fed up and moving forward and it being the best for them. And it's the energy of also someone else, um, Someone else might be like tired. Like I feel like somebody might be having some very low vibrational thoughts. Okay. And they may need to speak to someone. Uh, Cause it's kind of giving like harming themselves type energy showing up here too. So let's see what comes out in the tarot. You guys definitely a heavy message today going into um, October. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's heavy either way, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's you releasing this heaviness. Like you just really taking control over whatever this um, this devil is that's been affecting you. Whether it's a person, your own thoughts, behaviors, etc., etc. Okay, so let's see what the tarot has to say. We got the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck. So this is uh, this is that defeated energy. Okay, this is that heavy burden, but this is like the ending of it all. Something here is ending, hangman, king of swords, justice. Somebody somebody could be taking like a separation or a breakup very heavily, like very harshly or some sort of loss, even if it's not tied to like, you know, a personal relationship. Um, I'm not really, I just, I don't know. For some of you guys, there's someone who is playing a role of like wanting or of like saying that they're going to harm themselves if you don't X, Y, and Z. Others of you, this person is like very serious. Like somebody is really struggling mentally. Okay. Pisces is showing up here again. Libra energy is showing up here. Uh, Gemini is showing up here. Sagittarius. Seven of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Like someone's not seeing something clearly. Okay, the Emperor. Um, I just don't like, I don't like all this energy together. The Ten of Swords with the Hey Man, the King of Swords. Let's see. Four of Cups. It's a lot of like, uh, somebody could be struggling with depression. High Priestess Pisces again. Okay, Clarity Confirmation. And uh, the high, the Pisces energy pi high priestess is something about like your intuition. I feel like y'all you may be feeling as if something's wrong or something is off. Okay, in a particular area of your life or with somebody, check on that person. 
Nine of Wands. Clarity confirmation. All right, so let's see. And all of this could just kind of be like, I don't know. It's, it could just be coming to light this weekend or there's a conversation that's being had. Um, let's see. Five of Pentacles. Clarity confirmation. The Death card. Scorpio energy. The Eight of Swords. All right, so let's see. The Seven of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles again. Yeah, it's giving me like, it's giving me stalker energy. Some of y'all guess there's somebody that's like a little too comfortable, a little bit too close. Okay, uh, this weekend, Seven of Pentacles, like somebody is, is giving me the energy of somebody like not taking, and it's giving me the energy of like a, a, a masculine. Like there's a masculine that's not taking rejection well or the loss of like a feminine energy well or something like that um and for some of you guys this is something that may have like happened a long time ago and somebody like never recovered from it or maybe this is something that happened recently um mm -mm. let's see clarity confirmation what's ahead of the collective this weekend holy spirit what is it that you need for them to know Clarity confirmation. It could also be um, like if there has been any uh, one who has passed over, this could also be just like the anniversary of that, you know, that person, something about the energy is just reminding somebody of this person and maybe it's, it's bringing them in a lower vibration too. Um, for some of you, it's not as heavy or as uh, drastic, you know, of an energy as it might be for others of you. So definitely just use your discernment, take what's for you. Don't try to make it fit, but um, use tarot as, you know, a tool, not just your go-to for everything because you should never rely on anybody else, okay? Or anyone, should I say, outside of God, but um, just use it as, as a tool. I keep seeing this masculine, like, like watching or like plotting on this feminine energy there's something going on and somebody it's like somebody doesn't even see this person king of pentacles six of wands all right let's see clarity confirmation messages for the collective this weekend holy spirit all right so the hierophant so we have taurus energy here we have the knight of wands and we have the page of pentacles I'm also getting something about, I don't know why I'm picking up on all this weird energy, but I mean, we're in October now. Um, like someone, there can be like an older somebody that's plotting on like a younger feminine, an older male. Or something about family here. What's at the bottom? Eight of Swords. Or this could be like an ex lo okay, an ex lover, the lover's card with the high priestess. Something about family, the ten of pentacles, the emperor, or something I feel like may cause a separation because of what you're finding out about this family member, or somebody. There's something here, like somebody's doing something they're not supposed to be doing, involving other fam uh, like other family members or other people or something like that. What's the Eight of Swords? Like, I feel like there's a falling out that's to come. What's the Eight of Swords? This is the overall energy. What's the Eight of Swords? Like, something's happening, like, very fast. The Six of Cups. The Nine of Swords. And the Tower card. It's like for some of you guys this weekend, you're hearing something about somebody or you're seeing some sort of proof, getting some sort of confirmation. And I feel like it is blowing your mind. Okay. Ace of Wands, Star card, Two of Swords, Six of Wands, Knight of Swords, Moon card. Like something that someone's been dealing with or something that someone's been doing. What's the tower? What's this tower? Or somebody is very much so. This could be somebody that's just very um 
you know, just very like insecure. I don't know. Somebody could just be like really overthinking, being very insecure about you or you about them and what you're doing, et cetera, et cetera. About you leaving, getting away from them. For some reason, somebody is like really stressing this weekend. So the nine of wands, the two of pentacles. And the page of swords. Or there's somebody, I feel like whatever they have to say, maybe they are afraid that you'd look at them different or you'd leave them or you wouldn't want to be around them. Maybe they're afraid of how like you're going to judge them or you're afraid of, of how somebody's going to judge you. Four of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Yeah, like somebody might feel like... Um, Somebody could be telling you the truth about a situation and they might feel as if or they may know as if like that will be it. Like, yeah, you will you will leave, you'll move forward or like you'll tell or something like that. Or somebody doesn't somebody's trying to keep somebody quiet. Somebody doesn't want someone to tell something. What's what's the higher thing card? So let's see. What's this higher thing? Four of Swords, Page of Cups, Two of Wands. Like, yeah, like someone, because this is silence. This is a rest, a break. This is not speaking. The Page of Cups is also like holding back, keeping back. Um, and then the Two of Wands from moving forward. Two of Cups, King of Swords. Six of Pentacles, or like somebody again, somebody is just like not taking no for an answer. What's this Knight of Wands? Someone's not willing to let go. What's this Knight of Wands? But it kind of feels like too is is giving me a little like revengeful energy. Like somebody might be plotting on or like choosing to approach or talk to someone that you're close to, to get back at you for not whatever, you know, not talking to them, not want to be with them, not whatever. Um, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Swords, or like trying to make you jealous. For some of you guys, it's as simple as that. Like, I feel like this person's thinking is just like way off. Um, Six of Swords, Four of Cups. Five of Pentacles, yeah, Ten of Wands. Like, it's a lot of abandonment issues or a lot of feeling left out, feeling um, betrayed. I feel like, too, somebody might be trying to, like, um, like if somebody like if there was someone that was like angry with you or just a very ill energy towards you and then all of a sudden like they let it go or they're happy or y'all good again or they want to see you let's chill like don't I would not trust that person like I wouldn't go because it's kind of giving like the energy of like a setup like somebody's trying to set somebody up here. Or somebody's trying to use somebody else to get what they want. What's the page of uh what's the page of pentacles? Yeah, seven of wands. Like I wouldn't go. This is blocking the energy. Queen of Swords, which is a no. Five of Swords. Another no, but it's also the energy of like. You might know somebody is like not men mentally stable or somebody's intentions are off. And I feel like that's just really like driving this person to like down a rabbit hole. The fact that they cannot uh, get to you or get through to you. But I see somebody taking drastic measures. So it's like, however you have them block, I see them still finding a way to like communicate or pop up or something like that ten of swords 
Nine of Pentacles, Death card, Strength card, Knight of Swords, Three, Three of Swords. Yeah, that's the energy that I'm getting, y'all. Um, let's just pull some Wisdom Oracle cards to wrap up the message. We've been on here almost 30 minutes in this energy. Okay, just be very cautious. Be very aware. Be very um, attentive. If somebody's behavior is like changed, strange, or off, like pay attention to that. Okay? Fork in the road. Think there. Clarity confirmation. Listen to your intuition. Round and round. Final messages for the collective this weekend. Clean it up. All right. So let's see. Final messages for the collective this weekend. What do they need to know from the Wisdom Oracle deck, Holy Spirit? And we have community. Yeah, it's like somebody is very close to you. Peace. Truth be told. To the sea. Imagine. Like somebody. I don't know, you guys. I just feel like it's something is like closer than you think, or this person is closer than you think. Um, or it's it's the need for you to like not fully trust or fully let your guard down with somebody, especially if you know they're like they have some sort of mental um issues here especially if they're known to like flip or switch or somebody is playing the role real good but i feel like they have other intentions okay so i'm gonna leave it here leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and i will talk to you guys soon